Hi, we're Nicole and Nico. Over the past nine months, we've been traveling through different parts of Asia, Far Eastern Europe, and the Middle East, including most recently Egypt. Now it's time to switch gears and say goodbye to this part of the world as we begin our journey on a new continent, starting off with a jam-packed day of exploring some of Mexico City's best sites. Does it sound like Egypt still? I don't think we're in Egypt anymore. I don't think we're in Egypt anymore. <laughs> we are in Mexico City. No! And this place is bumping. Like, wow. It's, it's pretty wild. It's incredible. There's all sorts of stuff going on. It just is like such a stark contrast to where we were a few days ago in Egypt. <laughs> How did we get here? So we're going to spend the day exploring Mexico City. And I think we're starting at a cathedral, yeah? Yeah, let's go. All right, cathedral, here we come. So before we get to the cathedral, we are walking around Zocalo Square and it is bumping. <laughs> There's so much here. I'm not sure if you can see behind us. I think if I turn in Zocalo Square, which is kind of like the main part of the city, there's a massive Mexican flag there. And we learned that in the middle of the Mexican flag, there's a symbol of an eagle eating a snake sitting on top of a cactus. The legend is that the people that predate Mexico were actually traveling for 200 years looking for this promised land mm -hmm. and that they would find the promised land when they see an eagle eating a snake on top of a cactus. Very specific. And that happened right here in this spot here yeah. around Zocalo Square. That was so unfortunate because there was a lake here. They found, they found <laughs> that symbol here on a lake. Oh and so the gosh. reality is that Mexico City was built at the time on top of a lake, which is now dried up. Um, but that means that Mexico City is very slowly sinking. Actually, not, not really that slowly, but it is sinking. Actually, um, very quickly every year. Yeah, so like you'll go places and we, we learned that they even like have to add stairs to certain areas because some places sink faster than others. Uh, so it's really interesting. I think we can see signs of it kind of all across the city. So we'll keep our eye out for it today. Wow, look how much it's like sinking there. I don't know how good of, the, of a job the camera does at showing you, but it's like massively angled. Mexico City Metropolitan Cathedral um, and it like took like over 250 years to build it and is obviously still incredibly widely used today and um, it is stunning. Uh, one nice thing about it taking so long to build is it also allowed a lot of time for like investment to come in and so there's like it's just such a beautiful cathedral. Going to mass here would be so intense. I think I would attend mass here just to hear the organs. Like oh, yeah. the organs look incredible. You walk past them and they're huge, yeah. but you realize it's only one side. Yeah. And there's another set of organs on the opposite side. It's like a Do you think two people play them? Double organ madness for mass. <laughs> that is awesome. So obviously it's a commemoration for the Day of the Dead. Um, I heard that there's a spot here that's famous and it's part of where they played the uh, uh, opening scene for Spectre that had Day of the Dead on it, and we're gonna go and check it out. Of course, later. we gotta find it. We gotta find this some guy's obsessed. movie related stuff. I love it. So, we're gonna go look for that later, but <laughs> that is so cool to see. <laughs> Never a dull morning here. It's a Friday morning, and there's a ton happening. All right, so we're starving. It's definitely time for some energy. Cuatro cordero. I'm gonna do longaniza as well. Cuatro longaniza. Looks super good. And hopefully, I ordered that right. <laughs> Oh man, so good. Wow, that's messy. One second. <laughs> so it's pork or beef that you saw him cook, and then it has like onions, cilantro, and some sort of green sauce on top. It looks so good. Oh my god. I mean, it's not good for you. 
but it's good for you, you know? Wow. So I got the manganisa taco, which is like pork and manganisa is like pork and some uh, um, spices. Oh, gracias. They got a glass bottle coke. That's a uh, yeah, manganisa taco. Oh man. That is good. It's like swimming in the juices of like all the other meats, which is something I'm a fan of. That is awesome. So we ordered four each. I think I could probably go for another four. <laughs> I mean, I could probably have another one or two. <laughs> that was an amazing lunch. I think we, uh, we've officially joined the taco train. Uh, yeah, I, I think... Uh, <laughs> The best part, I was like five minutes away from like where we're staying, yeah. so like we might come back well, there for dinner. Probably, because it was uh, not even eight dollars Canadian, including a pop. We got yeah. 11, Ele tacos. eleven tacos between the two of us, and then a pop. That was awesome. That and was like a so show. delicious. You know, you get to watch the whole thing. Fantastic. Awesome. Ten out of ten. So we made our way to Santo Domingo Square. <laughs> uh, it's pretty pretty bumping. I guess what it used to be in the past was like a place where um, people who knew how to like read and write would like set up stations here and then um, those who didn't know how to read or write would come to the square and then use their services. But we do notice I think behind us yeah. you can notice a bit of a slope so around this whole city you just lots of slopes here and there and uh, because of the city sinking but you yeah. can really see it here by the fountain. I feel like all of the rain here which is like cool right there. Right? Oh, that's a very interesting chair. Leave it to Nicole to find like a dog shaped chair. Except I don't actually want to touch it. so excited to see the uh, Teatro Fru Fru. If you look behind me, there's there's this apartment building, right? Pretty normal looking apartment building. And then over behind me here, there's like a red, you know, face wall. This is actually where they filmed the opening scene for James Bond Spectre when like James Bond is like walking through like the Day of the Dead like uh, celebration and then he goes like up an elevator and then he gets onto like the rooftop and then he starts walking along the side of a building with like a, a gun in hand. They filmed him, it's like walking through up the, through that, like on the ledge up there and then he gets to the edge of the building and then he like spies in on like the bad guys on that side. The spot! Right here! The, spot. the bad guys were through that window. Also, I guess um, it's funny, we were told by a local that the Day of the Dead celebration is not that grand. It's very important, but it's not so like huge of an occasion as it shows in the movie. But apparently ever since that movie, it's like gotten bigger it's like and blown, grander and more dramatic. Yeah, it's like blown up. It's become like a huge spectacle cool and because of that movie. Have you ever seen a more grand post office? So we heard about this building that you like, can't miss seeing the inside of it. It's free to get in because yeah, it's a it's working a building. But yeah, it's a post office, but it is so beautiful. It is so ornate and like marble tile, like I can't remember top notch. I can't remember who the, like, the designer architect was, but it was the guy, I think he was a mayor of Mexico City at one point. Well, not the designer, I think he like, commissioned he it. He commissioned yeah. it. And um, he, he was like, he loved European culture and so um, there's a lot of like European influence on the design of this post office. It's stunning. It's wow. super cool. Okay, for some reason I get like vibes of Beauty and the Beast in here. I don't know why. It feels like Beast's castle. I think it's because of all the stairs. They're just so beautiful and ornate. 
<laughs> Tell us all this time. Song as old as rhyme. Beauty and the beast. Just like that, literally we've turned the corner, we left the post office and turned the corner. The opera house. That was like only a few blocks we've been walking. Honestly, it really, like, we haven't gone very we haven't, far. <laughs> yeah. It's like you take another like 40 steps and yeah. you're at the next thing. There's, There's just, so much, but this city has like 22 million people in it. 22 million people in Mexico City. Humongous. That's like, and there's so much history here, so I mean... Yeah, that's like two-thirds of Canada or <laughs> over half of Canada <laughs> into one so city. It's like, yeah, it's like yeah. a lot of people here. I think it says Art Palace. I don't know, I can't actually translate. But I see palace and arts. That's cool. I think we're at the Art Palace. <laughs> it's a beautiful building, but you can't see the top. Like the, the top of the building actually has this like really bright orange golden dome but I think if we can get far enough we could kind of see it Maybe. but <laughs> okay just as amazing as seeing the opera house behind me is on the other side <laughs> is Nicole but behind Nicole Sears <laughs> when's the last time we saw Sears funny thing about the Sears building here is that we heard it's like falling. Well, like, I don't think the Sears building tilting. is falling. I think the one next to it's falling. So there's a Sears building. It's like right there. And then there's the other building. And then in the middle, they got this like filled in portion where they're like separating. That building is falling down while it's like falling over because of the sinking of the city. So they're closing the gap. <laughs> I tripped down memory lane here. Sears is amazing. Seriously, this place is where it's at. <laughs> because at the top of Sears, there's a cafe, and we got some drinks. Yeah, perfect and, way to end the day. And then on top of that, take a look at this view. Like, this is Sears. We're in Sears. Honestly, this day has been so good. Mm -hmm. uh, Mexico City has been amazing. Yeah, we've hardly gone anywhere. We were like 10 blocks or something. The city is huge. We cannot do it justice in a day. And there's so much more to see. Yeah, there's just so much more to see. But like, you definitely need like a whole week here to just check easy. out everything. Easy. There's apparently over like 150 museums here or something. It's like the most in the world next to London. Anyway, you need a long time to do Mexico City, right? Yeah, what we will say, like, we've heard Mexico City's gotten a bad rap. In the past. In the past, just mm -hmm. like, just being like generally unsafe. But we've learned that that's really from like the 1950s up until the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Recent as like 10, 15 years ago, yeah, they've really, changed. really changed it. And mm -hmm. uh, now it's just like a it stop. It feels like any other metropolitan city, like big city. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. Um, totally feel good walking around. And yeah. No, it's an awesome place to be. It's a great place to come and visit if you get a chance. I think it should be on everyone's uh, Mexico travel hit list. So definitely check out Mexico City when you can. Grab, go to the Sears, grab yourself a drink. Eighth floor, that's where you need to be. <laughs> but uh, we'll leave it there for now. We'll leave it there for now. And um, catch yeah. you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Betsy Bums. This might not be appropriate for you, too. <laughs> you want to dance on? <laughs> na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. My childhood dreams are coming true. Beauty and the beast. <laughs> <sighs> so, uh, turns out Sears is uh, an amazing place. So, we're redoing our outro. <laughs> is there anything on my lips? <laughs> <laughs>